In today's video, I want to discuss with you one of the absolute most important topics in cryptocurrency, and that is protecting your damn crypto. So I'm going to share some really important security tips with you because guys, this is magic internet money. You have got to take your security damn, damn seriously because there are people out there whose full-time job is trying to steal your crypto. Think about that. All it takes is one mistake, one screw up, and all your crypto is gone like that. This is one of the realities of being a crypto investor. You're in charge of your security. You have to maintain constant vigilance and knowing some of the tips that I've been going to share in this video, I think can help you at least a little bit in achieving the goal of trying to have some of the best security practices that you can for your crypto. My name's Lark. Every day I make videos talking about cryptocurrency investing. So if that's a topic that you want to learn some more about, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Gently tap on the thumbs up button. And of course, click on the notification bell to know when I put out a new video. So let's go ahead and get straight into this. And look, just a, a, a quick note. This is actually something that I've just shared in Wealth Mastery. That's the weekly investor report that I put out. I think this topic so Damn important, though, that it deserved a video topic as well. But if you do want to check out Wealth Mastery, click on the link down below me here in the description. Every week, we're just sharing all kinds of great tips, as well as a deep dive on an altcoin, trending coin analysis, airdrops, token sales, step-by-step -step decentralized finance tutorials, and much, much more. So definitely check it out. It's a great value, totally just value-packed newsletter for less than 10 bucks a week. So Check that out using the link down below in the description. But anyway, let's let's go ahead and get into this. This is a big topic. So let's start off by talking about two-factor authentication. If you can use two-factor authentication on the application or the exchange or whatever it is that you're using, do it. Do it. Absolutely do it. And this includes your email address. You may not know it, but most Popular email providers like Gmail or Hotmail, they allow you to do two-factor authentication. So you should do it. Absolutely. This means that nobody can hack into your email account without having your two-factor authentication available. This is an absolutely critical step. It's actually saved me a couple of times because um, I've had my passwords leaked in data hacks before. And the only thing that stopped those hackers from getting into my exchange accounts was two-factor authentication. It's an absolutely critical step for your crypto. So please, please, please make sure that happens. You can also use a hardware device as a two-factor authentication. So this is something that maybe not a lot of people know, but you can actually use something like this, which is a UB key, or you can use something like this, which is a Ledger hardware wallet. Now these are not that expensive devices. They have two-factor authentication apps in them for the ledger. The YubiKey is a two-factor authentication hardware device. So they're cheap, they're reliable. Just honestly invest in something because it's very, very important for keeping your crypto safe. Next, let's talk about getting a good password. So you can see the examples here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is a bad password. That password is basically instantaneously hackable as well as something like password one. That's also almost instantaneously um, hackable by hackers. But then you have something like this, Bitcoin with, you know, K with coin, capital letters, um, dollar signs, numbers. This would actually take thousands of years um, based on current computer power for a hacker to hack. So please make sure that your passwords are really, really good. And of course, never reuse passwords for important sites. So your Coinbase and your Binance and whatever exchange accounts, those should all have different, unique, and very strong passwords. It may seem obvious, but it's incredibly, incredibly important. You may also want to consider getting a password manager. Also, make sure to that none of the um, applications or uh, different things on your browser are capturing and recording your copy and paste. So a clipboard manager that records everything, not a good idea, disaster waiting to happen. So please be careful. Another area to keep in mind is your phone. 
Now, many people use their phone as a two-factor authentication device, but you don't want to be receiving text messages as two-factor authentication. Again, you want to be using something like a, a security device like this or a Google Authenticator, but on your phone. Now, something that happens very commonly, particularly in the United States, is SIM swap attacking. This is where a hacker calls up your phone company. They continue calling until they find a service rep that doesn't care enough. And basically, they port your phone over to the hackers. It happens all the time. There's been so many high-profile cases of people losing millions of dollars with the cryptocurrencies because their phone company gave their phone, they ported it over to hackers. So if it is possible, then set a pin on your account um, that makes it so that you need that pin in order to do anything like, you know, porting your phone over, right? So, or you can even get a, um, a SIM lock put in place or something like that with your phone company. So call up your phone company, explore those options, make sure that you take that seriously because phones are one of those areas of crypto security that people kind of forget about, but it's really, really important. Next, let's talk about links. So Google, there's so many phishing sites out there trying to steal your passphrase. There's um, constantly fake apps and stuff like this popping up. They want to infect your computer with malware. They want to get keystroke loggers so they can copy your passwords when you type them in. They want you to enter your passphrase into a scam website. Look, here's how to access links. You want to bookmark the link of your exchange so that you can always just go to your bookmarks tab and safely access a link that you know works. So please, please consider doing that. You will also want to get the original link from a verified source. Now, going to a verified Twitter account of, for example, Coinbase or Binance is a good way to actually get signed up for those services. So always make sure you're getting the official link because when you Google Coinbase, for example, the top five ads that come up are basically all scam websites trying to steal your money. Google, YouTube, all these companies are massively asleep at the wheel on terms of policing the incredible amount of scamming going on. So you have to take care of yourself. Don't rely on these companies who don't care about you to take care of you because they're not going to. Also be very careful about emails. You're regularly going to receive emails saying that someone's hacked into your account. Maybe some other kind of crisis going on and you have to react right now because all your crypto is about to disappear. Click on this link, enter your passphrase. It's all going to be okay. 99.9% .9 of the time that you receive these emails, it's a scam. So please don't click on those links. You're going to download malware or they're going to ask you to put your passphrase in. This crisis, it's not real. But if you think that there could have been something that happened or if you just want to check and make sure, hey, maybe that is a real email, then you go to your bookmark. You click on your bookmark, you go to that website, and you log in, and you check the website that way. You do not use the email or any links in an email that you receive. Please, please keep that in mind. Also, Chrome extensions, they can be dangerous backdoors to, again, bring malware and stuff into your computer. So unless you really, really need that Chrome extension, get rid of it. Get rid of it. If you don't need it, get rid of it. You'll probably have a lot of Chrome extensions that are just not particularly useful. So get rid of those because they are unnecessary backdoors that could cause you a lot of trouble. Never download from strangers. In the same way you don't want to take candy from a guy in an alleyway, don't download files from your new friends on Telegram or any other website. There are so many people out there trying to scam you. Again, there's entire teams of people who dedicate their entire days every single day to trying to rob you. Seriously. So don't download anything from, you know, anybody basically online. Always go to official sources for downloads. Please keep that in mind. You also need to be watching out for all the different scams. You're going to be approached online by people saying that they've got some magical mining thing where they're going to, all you need to do is give them 10 Ethereum and they're going to give you back 30% a week, every week for the rest of your life in Ethereum. 
So you're going to be making thousands and thousands of dollars every week in passive income. Mining. Yeah. That's a scam. That's a scam. You're going to lose your money. You also have companies that are going to say they're going to make 5% profits for you a day or some other ridiculous number like that by trading Forex or, you know, trading crypto. That's a scam. That's a scam. Again, you're getting scammed. There is a pretty common one that's been coming up recently. You might even see an ad for that right below me right now, which is absurd. Again, Google and YouTube totally dropping the ball here, but this is arbitrage trading scams. So they'll use the profiles of popular influencers like myself or any of the other uh, big YouTubers, and they will say that there's some magical arbitrage telegram group where you give them a bunch of money and it's supposed to be me or one of the other guys and they're going to steal your money. That's a scam. It's a scam. If it sounds too good to be true, you're getting freaking scammed. Please stop falling for the hundreds of scams out there. The reason that these scams keep happening is because people keep falling for them. Please stop. This is probably one of the biggest ways that people are losing crypto right now. All this other stuff I'm talking about, very, very, very important, obviously. But none of this stuff matters if you just hand your crypto over to the scammers willingly. Please, please keep your heads screwed on. Use your common sense if in doubt. Ask around, ask some other people. Never be afraid to ask a dumb question because it's much dumber to have your crypto stolen by scammers. Next, let's talk about your passphrase. This is that 12 or 24 word phrase that is basically your lifeline to your crypto. If you lose that, your crypto's gone. And if you give that to scammers, online, your crypto is also gone. Never enter that passphrase into website. Never give it to someone claiming to be from support. They're not from support. They never need your passphrase. So you might be approached on Telegram by somebody saying that they're from support from some whatever company. They're not from support. They never need your passphrase. Never give it to anyone, please. So many people worry about, you know, somebody breaking into their house and stealing their passphrase or whatever else it might be. But most people actually use their crypto by not being careful with it and making a mistake online with their passphrase. Now, in terms of personal home safety, obviously, you should make sure your house is safe. That's one very important thing. But in terms of securing your passphrase, that physical written copy, never print it out, never send it through a Wi-Fi printer. That is a bad, bad idea. You want to write it down on a piece of paper using a pen, old fashioned, right? Old school way here. This is how it's done. You make at least two copies. You store them in safe, different locations. Probably want to laminate those as well so they don't get uh, any water damage. Investing in a fireproof safe to put one of those copies in, probably not a bad idea either. So make sure that you're keeping this safe, guys. Next, let's talk about hardware wallets. Now, hardware wallets, definitely the safest option for storing your crypto. Again, Ledger is the one that I use. Trezor is also a great company. There's loads of other really cool hardware wallets out there. These devices are very, very important. They're not like taking an old USB stick and putting all your keys on it. That is not a safe device. That's not a safe storage um, alternative. Don't be cheap. This is potentially, you know, a lot of money worth of crypto and you're going to cheap out and use an old USB drive instead of spending the 100 or 150 bucks to buy yourself an actual dedicated storage device, which has all kinds of unique security features to keep your crypto safe. So if you don't have one of these, definitely get one of these, you know, hardware wallets are a lifesaver. If you're not familiar with them, go and educate yourself on them a little bit. They're just, it's super important. So make sure you get yourself one of those. Make sure you're proactive as well. What I want you to do after watching this video is go and do some homework. Take a bit of time, take an hour of your time to sit down and actually go, okay, I'm gonna review my security situation. Are my passwords good enough? Am I using two-factor authentication, et cetera, et cetera. And actually start asking yourself, is my security for my crypto adequate? Because the only person responsible for your security of your crypto assets is you. That's it. That's it. It stops with you. You're the only person responsible for this stuff. So please sit down, ask yourself those questions. Am I doing enough to keep my crypto safe? Because if you are a crypto investor, you are a 
target. There are hackers trying to steal your crypto right now. Think about that. Now, that may or may not be the case, but if you act in such a way, it'll change the way that you approach your security because you are a target by being a crypto investor. And just one, you know, post post script here. At some point, I've got some bad news for you. At some point, you're going to die. Happens to all of us. The best of us, no one gets out alive. Life's pretty weird like that, but it's going to happen. But hopefully when you die, there's other people that will still be there Um, you know, wife, kids, whatever it might be, you need to ensure that those people know how to safely get access to your cryptocurrency because there's no point in you getting, you know, $5 million worth of Bitcoin accumulated over the next years and you've done all this stuff to keep your crypto safe and then your family doesn't know how to safely access it and they fall victim to this exact stuff that we're talking about in this video. So make sure they know how to get it. Maybe that's a written set of instructions in your will or in your safe, or you just take the time to sit down with those people while you're still here to talk them over how to do that. So, you know, just something for you to keep in mind as well. And look, this, it's not an exhaustive list. There's more security stuff for you to keep in mind. But if you are at least starting to think about how to keep your crypto safe, then this video has been a success because I really, really want you to think, how am I keeping my crypto safe? What can I do to keep my crypto safe? It's super, super important. So I hope that at least you got some sparks out of this video to make you think maybe I could be doing a little bit better on my security. Anyway, Those, of course, are just my two stories for the day. Your question, what is your best security practice, your security tip for anyone out there, some newbies getting into the market? Let us know down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching today's video and peace out till next time.